Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to New Year Weekly Love Reading from October 9th through the 16th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to go straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, make sure to check your sun, moon, rising signs. And let's get this show on the road, okay? All right, what's going on for the Aries? Aries, Aries, Aries. What's going on for the Aries love reading? Aries love reading for October 9th through the 16th, 2017. Aries love reading October 9th through the 16th, 2017. Okay. So it seems like something happened really quick and it was before you can realize what happened, okay? Yeah, like something happened so fast, but you didn't. So, like, I mean, this could have been anything. This could have been you starting a relationship, um, you wanting to get out of a relationship, you know, but it, it just happened quick. Or you just being in the relationship. Like, you're not in there, and next thing you know, you're in a relationship. In or out, okay? But something happened and you didn't realize it happened. It was, it was like already there. Okay. All right. What's going on for the Aries? Aries, Aries. Love reading. Aries, love reading. October. Ooh. Uh oh. That's not good. Okay. So this could be in that same uh, sense or this could be um, different people. But it seems like someone might have fell out of love with you or you fell out of love with somebody. And you just don't look at them as attractive anymore. So this could be happening to you, or this could be some some um, you doing this to somebody. And whatever it is, it was just a, all of a sudden cut like, boom. Okay, I don't I don't want to be with you anymore. Or boom, I don't like you no more. Or you know this is how this is if it's relating to that. Okay, I'm feeling like they are together though. Aries, Aries, Aries. Wow. So, I'm um, seeing. Okay. All right. So there it is again. So it seemed like something was happening. You was just like trying not to look at it for what it is. You know. You was trying to look past it. All right. Aries, Aries, Aries. Ten, ninth through the sixteenth. October 9th, 2016, 2017. Okay. So, it seems like this was happening the whole time. And I'm feeling like it is relating to the messages that was shooting out before. I'm feeling like somebody was treating you or you were treating somebody like you didn't want to be with them. Yeah, but uh, the other person, the person who... Okay, I'm going to just say it look like it's you. Somebody didn't want to be with you. And you were acting like that you didn't know what they were doing. You didn't. You were acting like that you didn't know that they didn't want to be with you. Then they left. Okay? This could be reversed, though. You know, I don't... You're not, we are not always the victim. Okay, so it seems like they had some kind of secret going on, and that's why they left. All right, what's going on for the Aries? Aries, Aries, love reading October 9th through the 16th, 2017. What is this secret? Ooh. Okay, so the secret could be one of two things. It could, one, it could be your friends knew about this, but they were just talking about it and talking about you behind your back. This could be that they knew that this person didn't want to be with you anymore, you know, but they was just like talking crap about you behind your back other than saying it like, hey, snap into reality. This person doesn't want you anymore, okay? All right. Wow. Okay, it seems like this person may have had a wise decision or it was just 
All right, what is this wise decision about for the Aries? Aries love reading, October 9th through 16th, 2017. Okay, so it seems like although, you know, you was acting like, this is so weird. Okay, cut it out. Sorry. Although you were acting like uh, you didn't want to, I mean, you didn't know what this person was doing. It seems like it's some kind of weight lifted off of you by this person being gone. So it's like you didn't want it to happen, but now that it happened, you're happy. I'm, I can't say you're happy. You're just relieved. You know, I keep hearing it wasn't that bad. You know, it's not that bad. Okay. All right, wow. So it seems like what you was trying to, they kept telling you over and over and over. They kept telling you over and over and over that they wanted to be free, but you were ignoring it. Okay. Okay, so it seems like they left because you wouldn't make some kind of sacrifice for them. They wanted, sorry. They wanted you to do something for them. You wasn't willing to do it. And they like, hey, I'm out of here. Okay. Okay, so it seems like, um. It seems like, it seems like you were using them at one point in time, but at the end, it went reverse. You, They started trying to use you, and you wasn't having it. That's just what I'm seeing here. All right, so, Cleo cards. I read these straight out the books to ensure you get your full message. All right. I don't know why I want to say Leo. All right, so you might be dealing with a Leo, or you might have Leo in your chart. All right, what's going on for Aries, Aries, Aries? What's going on for Aries for the month, week of 9 through 16th, October? Oh, geez. October 9 through 16th, love reading 2017. 9 through 16. 9 through 16, October 2017, love reading. Like I said at the beginning, I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message okay all right yes yeah, some kind of loss okay there it is. okay there it is, there it is. okay All right, if that's not the same story, I don't know what it is, but it seemed like some kind of loss was going on. Somebody was ready for a battle or ready to fight for something, and then they just was like, you know, I'm I'm done fighting. Somebody was done fighting, and I feel like that's probably why you just was trying to act like this stuff wasn't happening. Because maybe they were trying to manipulate you, and that's why they kept telling you, um, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. They're just trying to manipulate you to sacrifice something, and you're like, okay, well, I'm not, I'm not sacrificing nothing else. We can just go our separate ways, you know. But like I said, I read these out the book, and let's go. First, we got the Five of Cups. All right, and the Five of Cups is upright to say a loss of some kind is indicated. The realization of something which was believed in was not true or real. Tendencies of drug and alcohol. So it seems like you could have been using drugs or alcohol to like help you numb the voices of them telling you this over and over or just to get you prepared for when they actually do what they said they was going to do. All right, so we got the nine of staffs. Nine, nine, nine. All right, the nine of staffs says... Um, problems of your past may haunt you. Enemies may be near. Be very careful with uh, your trust. Take what you have learned in the past and use it now. I'm sort of feeling like this got to do with those fake friends of yours not telling you what's going on or um, possibly uh, spitting more craziness on you, you know? Like uh, saying more negative stuff to, you know, get you to, I don't know. I just don't like them. They just giving me a nasty little feeling. All right, seven. 
Seven of Cups reversed. Sorry, Seven of Coins reversed. All right, now it says, uh, continue to work on your project. Remember that money can bring you great joy and great sorrow. The importance of money is freedom. Do not let the money imprison you. So it seems like that was that little usury thing there. I, maybe it was like some kind of give and take relationship, but I felt like at the end, they were just wanting and wanting and wanting, and then you just got sick of it. That's just what I feel, okay? All right, so we got the two of staffs here, and it's upright. It says, take some time to reflect upon your choices before making any decisions. Consider where you are and how your past relates. So it's like, I don't know. It's making me feel like you may get ready to leave for somebody else or leave to go to a previous situation. You know, but it's like, remember what that person did to you if this was a person um, from in the past. Okay, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person to read, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.